And how do you create a badge on Moodle 2.5 for a course? You've seen how you can create it for the site, a general badge, but what about for individual courses? How's that done? All right, let's take a look at a course. Okay, we're going to go into a course called General Practice Area. This is on integratingtechnology.com slash Moodle. It's a place where you can practice in the role of a teacher. Everybody gets teacher rights right away, and then um, you practice a bit, and once uh, you prove yourself, you'll be able to contact me and get uh, manager rights, and then eventually uh, administrative rights. And practice, practice on the latest Moodle, because that's what this uh, Moodle site's all about. It's about free practice. All right, so let's get started. Um, for those who don't know and don't recognize my voice, my name is Nellie Deutsch, and I've been uh, Moodling since 2003 and enjoy it very, very much. I think that Moodle and teaching online is empowering, not only to students, but to teachers as well, to every learner. All right, so let's take a look at this course. Okay, you can see this is a course. Uh, it's a practice course. People just um, add whatever they want. It's for teachers. And I'm going to go, I'm in as admin right now. I'm going to go into the badge area. Okay, but notice what happens here in the different roles. Okay, so I'm going to go down to switch role. Okay, just to show you, there was a manager role. Okay, for those um, who didn't notice that, switch role is the administrator. Okay, uh, I'm in the course administration. I can switch roles to manager, Moodler, who's the teacher. I just renamed them. And of course, there's student and so on. So authenticated user on the front page. And you can change that as well. So I'm going to go in as, manage, as uh, Moodler. So you can see what rights they have right now as teachers. Okay, so I'm looking on the left now. And uh, you can see that they also have the badge. And this is your chance in the courses, okay? Not in the system, but in the course. So that's what you're going to do. Okay, you're going to try to get the badge to appear. Right now it doesn't appear, and the reason it doesn't appear is that we need to create activities that allow for this. And you see there are lots of activities. But it won't work until you click on it. So let's do it again. Okay, uh, we go into badges as teachers, and then we open up the flap. Okay, click on it, and it opens up. Now you've got two things here. You can manage badges, the ones that I've already created as the admin or the system has, the managers, or you can add a new one. As a teacher, you're going to add a new one, and this is what you do. You click on Add a New Badge. Now, you're in control as a teacher. Now, this is really awesome, and you're going to love it. All right, so I'm going to call it, uh, we'll call it um, Demo Badge, okay, just for the sake of this. And then here we're going to write Demo on how a teacher can create a badge, okay? So, uh, create your badge create a badge. So if you create a badge, you can get, okay, but this is not what I want here. It's a demo on how to create a badge. Uh, the badge is for activities, okay, for doing the activities, for doing the activities. Okay, since this is a course for the courses. All right, and then I'm going to create over here, create the badge, okay, right. But there's something missing. I don't have a file. I don't have an image. So let me get the image. Okay, I'm going to choose from my, I'm not going to choose it from here. And uh, let's see. What should I choose? We know these didn't work. I want something square. So I need a something square. How about this? Tell your friends. I like that one. Okay, I'm going to save it as tell your friends tell your friends to uh, join us okay and uh, practice 
so that you can practice together. This is a great place to invite your friends and practice. And why do I do it again? Because I'm passionate about Moodle. All right, so there it is. I'm going to create the badge. And then that's it. Okay, there it is. There's my little badge. Now I'm going to add the criteria. Notice I need to add criteria. To start adding criteria, please select one of the options. Uh, from the drop-down menu, this is the drop-down menu. So I'm going to click on the drop-down menu. Here we go. All right, I've got here manual issue by role. Okay, I mentioned that already. Course completion activity. I don't want course completion. I want just activity. Now notice what happens when I choose. You may want to do this twice. Okay, now you see it. If you don't see it, it means it's not going to move. All right, there are no activities with completion criteria. Aha! Uh -huh. So I need to create them. None of the teachers in this demo class have created it. So let's go back. I don't lose anything. I don't lose the badge. Nothing is lost. It'll stay. But I'm going to go into the course and make sure that there is an activity. So here are my breadcrumbs to get to the course. Those of you who don't know what breadcrumbs are, it's a way to get back. So I'm right now, you see that it's uh, in black. That's the demo badge. That's where I am. And I don't want to go here. I want to go back to the course, which is GPA, General Practice Area. All right, so let's go to the General Practice Area. And we're going to create something here. All right, so first thing we do as teachers, turn editing on, top right. Okay, so let's do that. Turn editing on. Yes, sir. There it is. Okay, I'm going to turn it on and wait. Okay, patience is a virtue developed by Moodle. Okay, now if it's off, notice, if it's off, it means I'm on. Okay, people get confused by this. So there it is. Okay, so uh, let's see. I'm going to add an activity. Okay, let's just go over here. We're not going to go too far. And... Um, Let's see, there is an activity. There's discussion here, so why should I add anything? Let's just grab whatever is here. Oh, this looks like a chat, right? I don't want that one. So let's scroll down and see what's here that looks like something I can use, an activity. All right, but I'm not, I'm, I don't know what activities are because I'm new to Moodle, so what do I do? Well, let's go here into add a new act and see the list. Okay, so let's see, assignment. These are all activities. Okay, so here I can learn what activities are if I'm new. Okay, so all these things are activities, but I have to remember the icon or hover my mouse over it. So let's just use one of these. All right, so let's go back. Okay, we're going to go back. Breadcrumbs, remember? Or back button. All right, so let's take one of these. Okay, now that I know what they are, I'm going to choose this chat one. Okay. The first one, okay, all these are activities. This is a resource. Okay, what is a category? Okay, so I have to know. Well, when I create an activity, I won't have any problems, right? Okay, so uh, that's a, a resource as well. So let's go into this discussion. Now, where am I going to go exactly? Well, I'm going to go into this ring. Okay, I'm going to go into this. That's a sign for editing. I'm sure you've seen them elsewhere, these little witch middings. Okay, I'm going to go into that. Now, let's see what happens. Now, I have to make sure that my admin has made this possible. Now, notice what's happening here. Okay, chat session is the chat. Common module settings and restrict access. Now, let's see. It doesn't look like it's here. So completion of the course is not here, which means that I have to do it for the teachers or they won't be able to use the badges. So let's go into administration for the course. All right, site administration. This is what you'll see if you want to practice being the administrator. Okay, so I go into the administration and I have to go into courses, default settings, so I can enable it. All right, so what do I want to enable? Okay, scroll down, course format. Okay, remember what I want? Now, if I don't know where to look, I just write the word track, completion tracking. Okay, completion tracking is on. Okay, so it's on. So there should be no problem. Oh. So my administrator has enabled it. Make sure that it's enabled. Again, you have to make sure that you enable completion tracking. 
okay so make sure you enable that it's enabled all right so next troubleshooting is to go to the course and I have to enable completion tracking even though it's in the default it doesn't mean that the course has it okay so I'm going to go into the course admin now the course admin let's go back in the breadcrumbs remember we're going to go into the GPA, which is the course. We're in the discussion now. We don't need the discussion. We need to do it in the course settings. We need to set up the course, and this is up to the teacher or the admin or the manager. Okay, in this case, it's me. So here I am, and I'm going to go into the course administration. How do I know where the course administration is? Well, it says administration, and it says course. Okay, and then I'm going to go into editing. Okay, edit settings because I want to set okay the course to allow for completion of activities. And then notice what I have here. I've got the course format. This is how I decide on the course form. Appearance, files and download, and this is what I'm looking for. Completion tracking. Let's see if it's set. So I'm gonna go into that and lo and behold, it's not. Okay, which means that I have to set it. So make sure you get this done by yourself or ask your administrator or manager, whoever has rights, to do it for you. So it's no, I want it on yes. All right, so once it's on yes, another thing I must remember is to save it or it won't work, right? It's not enough to set something, you need to save it. All right, now it's saved. So now I'm going back to create the badge. All right, so let's go to the discussion. Okay, we're going to go to, remember, the edit, update. It says update. So if you hover your mouse, you always get the information. That's where patience comes in. So you don't remember anything. So I'm going to go, notice what's here now. Course completion. Excellent. Now I'm going to set it up. So let me open it up for this so I can add it to the badge criteria. So here it says, do not indicate completion, but I do want to indicate. Manually, no. Show activity is complete when conditions are met. Excellent. And the condition is, there's only one here. Uh, your discussion form will have more. Student must view the activity to complete it. Yes. Do I expect completed by a certain date? No. I don't like pressure, and I don't like to pressure others. All right, notice what students can do. They can click here to enter the chat now. They can use and so on. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so let's go back to our badges. Remember, we're, we're working on the badges. So breadcrumbs, back to the course. Okay, we're back in the course. And on the left is our navigation and then the course administration with the badges. Okay, this is where we have rights. Course administration and the badges. Now, where are we going to go? Think about it. There are three areas. Remember? Well, here are two, sorry. Manage badges and add a new badge. Now, we've got a badge. We don't chalk it away, right? So let's go into manage badges. Here's our badge. It's not available yet. Okay. We can enable it through here or another way. All right. First of all, we want to set up the criteria. We haven't finished the criteria. Right, so let's do that by accessing the update or edit, whatever you want to call this. If you hover your mouse over, it'll say update. It doesn't always say, but it should. Okay, so there we are. It said edit. So Moodle developers should stick to one word, but that's okay. We understand. All right, so what do I need here? I've got everything. Okay, there's my image. Now I want to go to criteria, add, notice got a few options here. I can add it here and I can go into criteria. And, okay, lots of options. Let's add criteria from here. Okay, now I'm going to choose. Remember, it tells me drop down. Now, let's see what's on the drop. Remember, before there was nothing there. It didn't exist. Now, there we go. Manual issue by role. Course completion. Now, I want activity. Now, it's going to show something because I have an activity, at least one and maybe more. Let's see what's available. Okay, activity. If it didn't go through, we, you click again. All right, so, so far I've got the chat because that's where I went into and I enabled 
the activity completion. Notice you have to enable the activity completion on all the activities, otherwise you won't get this list. Okay, and this you'll get more as you go and you'll be able to update it. Okay, so right now I'm going to click here and all of the selected, yes, all because they're going to be more and the date enabled by, no. All right, so let's do that. Click on, there we go, check that. All of the activities, not any, save, don't forget to save, otherwise you're not there yet. Okay, now let's see if anybody gets it. Okay, has anybody, well, they will. Well, you can come in and do it yourself, but you won't get it until I have to enable the access. Don't forget to do that. Otherwise, it won't work. Enable. There we are. Now, it's not enough that you enable. It gives you a story here. And it tells you this action will perform a check if any of the users have already completed all the requirements for a demo badge badge. <laughs> okay, so would you like to proceed? Yes, I would. Okay, it warns you in case you made a mistake, remember, like I did before. So don't be in a hurry, make sure that everything's working, check it. Okay, so that's it. Right now it says disable, which means that it's enabled. Okay, and I don't see anybody. Okay, and here it explains completion activity and so on. Okay, overview, you can also message if your system allows it, if your admin has done it. All right, and that's it. That's it. Do I have it? Let's see if I, well, I don't think I'll get it, but let's go into the course and get it. Okay, so we're going to go into the course um, and, uh, as, and let's just get it. Okay, how should we go in as? Let's go in as one of the users, enrolled user. We'll just steal a user. Okay, I'm sure Judy won't mind if I steal her ID just for a little while. Okay, so I'm going to go in as Judy here. Judy is one of the facilitators. So I'm going to uh, log in as Judy. Okay. Oh, I, I am as somebody. I'm just in as a teacher. Okay, but I'm going to go as someone specific. Okay, so first um, off. Okay, let's get out of this uh, return to my normal world so I can access someone else's ID. This is a good idea sometimes to make sure that people are getting what they're supposed to, but just make sure that you log out and not add all kinds of things to the site. I'm logged in as Judith, okay? It's just a reminder, okay? And I'm going to go into this discussion, remember, because I want Judy to get the badge. I'm going to get it as Judy. There, I'm going to go into the discussion. Okay, idle. Click here to end. Remember, I have to see the chat. Okay, so let's go into the chat. I'll even add something. What should I add? There, you see, I'm in as Judy. Nurbert uh, is not there anymore. I'm going to say hello. <clears throat> Send. Okay, Judy's going to be surprised, but I'll let her know that I was in here. And then, okay, what else? Um, that's it. I think I've done my deed. Okay, now let's go uh, into Judy's. Hey, here we are. Judy got it. She's going to be so happy. Okay, she didn't have to do anything. I did it for her. And that's it. That's how it's done. So join the Integrating Technology. There is the link, integratingtechnology.com slash Moodle. And become a teacher. Try these things out for Moodle 2.5. And we'll be upgrading the site as we go to Moodle 2.6 and so on. So join me. This was Nelly Joyce Deutsch. And I love Moodle. And if you're interested, there's a Moodle MOOC. Join us. And everything is right here. All right. So here's the Moodle MOOC on WizIQ. Okay. Access these. The Moodle experience was another area to learn about Moodle. And it's right here. That's the Moodle experience, actually. There's also the syllabus on Google Drive. Here's the YouTube video, Moodle Mania on Facebook, and IT for All courses for those who are interested in customized courses. You're welcome, too. So happy Moodling, everyone. Bye for now.